Focus on your breath. Breathe deeply a couple times. Notice where you feel the breathing. Focus your attention there. And then ask if it's comfortable. If you're trying to create a place in the present moment where it's good to stay, and you can use the breath for that purpose. So try breathing in different ways, long or short, fast or slow, heavy or, or light, deep or shallow. And see what kind of breathing feels good now. You're trying to give the mind a place where it can settle in and feel at home. Have a place that is its own place. If you think about the past, think about the future, you're always getting pushed out. If you think about the past, we can't go back there anymore, so you get pushed out of the past. If you think about the future, and the future is very uncertain, you get pushed back again. So why can't you stay in the present? Well, the present's not a good place to stay. It feels uncomfortable. We can make it more comfortable on the one hand with the breath. It makes it easier in the body. And then in your mind, you have to learn how to think in the right ways. This is why we don't just focus on the breath, but we also think about what's going on in the mind. What kind of thinking helps put the mind at peace? It's not more than just making the mind still, but it really at peace with itself. That's where you need the Dharma, the basic principles of why your own actions are really important, and what you're going to do to make them more skillful, so you don't feel like you're simply the victim of the world outside, but you can play a role in shaping your, yourself, shaping your environment in a way that makes it more livable, and you feel more at ease with yourself, at peace with yourself, because you know you're acting on your best intentions. It's when you're acting on unskillful intentions that you don't find any peace, because part of you wants to do it, but another part of you knows that it's not right. And so when there's a battle inside like this, there's no sense of well-being. So learn how to act on your own skillful intentions, and this is one of the reasons why we have the Dharma, is to learn to recognize what a skillful intention is and how you nurture it, what an unskillful intention is and how you can get past it. A couple years back I was visiting a Chandra Thai, and as I walked in, a group of Thai people were already talking to him. I bowed down to him, and he started talking to me, and asked me, when Westerners come to the monastery, what do they come for? I said, well, they come for peace of mind. One of the Thai people said, oh, the, those Westerners, they go straight to the top. So he turned on the guy, John Rattai turned on the guy and said, what do you mean straight to the top? Even animals want peace of mind. If you're a human being, you also have to want virtue and dharma, so you know what's right to do. You realize that you are responsible, you're not just there trying to run away from the world, but you're responsible for your own environment. You're responsible for the state of your mind, and the dharma teaches you how to take good care of your mind. So you can take advantage of that power that you have. So I think about that. We're not just here to get the mind quiet, but we're also looking for something deeper. It's a, it's a deep well-being that comes when you not only do you have the breath in order, but you have your mind in order. That's when you get the most of what, what the Buddha has to teach. <laughs>